it's concerning because people that live the, who live around the area who may have mobility issues won't be able to access the bus service. Snow piled high, making it difficult to access a number of bus shelters in the city, like this one at Windermere and Pemina, which is leading to major safety concerns. The president of the Amalgamated Transit Union Local 1505, Romeo Ignacio, says the poor snow clearing job around bus stops and shelters in the city poses a serious danger for transit riders, especially those with mobility issues. It's about accessibility. So transit is providing service not only for the able-bodied, but also with people to people with uh, mobility issues. So you have the, the people with the walker, the wheelchair, uh, scooters, um, even people with cane. And if you can't get to the bus stop, you're not going to get on the bus. The hefty snow and bus shelters also makes it more difficult for transit workers to do their job safely. With only six people uh, for the bus shelter maintenance, there's no way we could uh, check, get all the bus stops cleared uh, when there's too much snow. I mean, you know, we don't have the equipment for that. Ignacio says at some of the bus stops he's visited, many people are waiting at a hazardous incline, and it's a liability if people injure themselves getting on or off the bus. When you shovel the snow and you uh, you shovel it at an angle, the snow is going to be at an angle, right? So it's concerning because um, it could re result in um, people sliding into the roadway. So, uh, and that's for able-bodied. Uh, what what? more for uh, people with mobility issues. In response to this story, the city released a statement that read in part, crews have also been addressing areas around transit stops as quickly as possible over the last few days to ensure they are more accessible for Winnipeg Transit users and will be addressing high snow piles and hauling away snow in the coming weeks, weather snow permitting. Michael Cantor, manager of streets maintenance for the city, says on a typical shift they have 300 to 400 pieces of equipment clearing the snow and the process is based on priority. We start with regional streets and sidewalks. So those regional streets and sidewalks eh, are open first to make sure that we have eh, emergency services and buses using them eh, and they're passable. Then we move to our collective streets and our eh, bus routes, which are our priority two and then our residential streets and sidewalks. For now, Cantor shares this message with the public. Sometimes it's, it's about patience, just waiting for us to get there. When we have consecutive events, it's, uh, it's, it's a bit tough, and we have to replow some areas by priority. So it's a matter of time until we get there, and we try our best to be everywhere and clear by priority. And obviously, I understand any frustration, but uh, we're out there 24-7 to clear the snow and service Winnipeggers. In Winnipeg, Brianna Marcello, City News.